having returned to Brisbane um, on a number of occasions, I was really struck by this cultural precinct and specifically uh, the architecture. This uh, was conceived as an idea, as a way of documenting this specific site, all right, and linking it back into a gallery where uh, in proximity the work itself will be shown. So to produce a site-specific work that engages the architecture, but not just the architecture, also um, it's, it's kind of surrounding spillage. So my research took me to a novel published here in 1894 by a Dr. Thomas P. Lucas, whom some people may know for his uh, famous Paul Paul Ocean. His novel, uh, entitled The Curse and the Cure, was published in two volumes at that time. He uh, imagines a Brisbane in the future, in the year 2000, uh, a place that is in ruins. And then the counterpoint to that is Brisbane imagined uh, in the distant future, in the year 2200, whereby Brisbane is rebuilt. We have this um, conversation between a dystopian uh, site uh, and a utopian um, city. And the here today within this precinct, the work aims to, to chart that sense of uh, time travel uh, by looking back to a colonial vision uh, of the future. The author talks to uh, local histories and colonial histories and the violence of these histories in relationship to a sense of abandonment from uh, the motherland, England, but also the devastation and the violence of uh, the treatment of indigenous peoples within this area. So while on the one hand it's a science fiction novel, it also uh, positions itself via those historical moments. The structure of the work is a two-channel uh, video installation with an overarching sound component. Uh, and the two channels projected opposite, opposite each other talk to each other. Uh, at times they coalesce, at other times uh, they're completely uh, out of sync with each other. In Volume 1, uh, Brisbane in, in Ruins, Brisbane is in, rediscovered uh, as a lost city, as an ancient city uh, that came to uh, moral decay uh, and was really uh, the victim of a perfect storm, including um, a great flood, the greatest flood that Brisbane had ever seen. Uh, and at the same time, uh, a war with uh, the states of uh, Victoria and New South Wales. The video really, to some extent, um, charts the sense of rediscovery. So in the video, I'll be playing a lot with uh, the sense of approaching and rediscovering uh, this cultural hub uh, and traveling between these different moments, between the colonial vision from 1894 between the contemporary, uh, circa 2000, and then again also into the future, uh, in the year 2200. So what does it mean today to revisit those attitudes? Uh, for me, it's, it's kind of akin to a, a literary uh, archaeological dig, uh, which can uh, still affect, uh, or seem to affect, our ideological positioning today and our understanding of ourselves and others uh, in relationship to place.